Hi everybody. Um, I really, really wanted to come on today. Um, I'm going to do tutorial later. Um, I don't know what for yet. But um, I said in a video about a week ago, I think, that I was going to order the um, 120 colour palette from an eBay seller called Chic.Gallery, which is based in Hong Kong. And I did. I placed that order. Um, and it was actually delivered yesterday, but I wasn't in, so I had to pick it up today from the post office. And I'm so, so excited. So this is what the box is like. Um, and there's the different types of palettes that you can actually get. So I've got this one here, which is um, 120 eyeshadows. Um, but you can get different, different amounts and the different sizes. And they actually sent me some free brushes as well which is cool, it'll be good for travel. Um, I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to quickly show you what they're like. I haven't actually played around with them yet. Um, so, I don't know what the colour payoff's like. I'm bragging already, but I don't know what it's like. Um, but yeah, really, really fast delivery. I'm so pleased, honestly. So, that's what the palette's like. And I've heard people say it's similar to a MAC palette. There's a MAC palette put that on the front and so it's a bit wider and a bit higher and actually comes as as two palettes inside so when you open it there's no mirror um, and that's what the first layer looks like and then I'll just take off the plastic and then oh, where am I? do it this way and then this plastic layer just lifts off really easily and you've got the second one underneath and when you use them that one fits nicely in there so you've got your two palettes like that now you've got a couple of interesting colors here that I'm quite surprised about quite interested in and it's these ones on the end here and I'll try to put it into the camera close as possible you can see on the green well it's a kind of strange mottled effect so it's like um, like a MAC mineralized um, eyeshadow kind of thing so it's all sort of mixed up and and, and mottly um, so it looks like a camouflage pattern it's a bit strange but it's nice um, so you've got 120 eyeshadows they're quite small but I knew there would be um, compared to I'll get some MAC eyeshadows out. Uh, I'll get something bright so you can actually see. Just bear with me. Um, okay. So the MAC eyeshadows are actually quite a lot bigger. Like that. But, I mean, it takes quite a long time to get through a MAC eyeshadow. So, so you can see what size they are. Um, I'll swatch a couple just to see what the colour payoff's like. I know somebody on Live Journal did um, a post where they swatched every single eyeshadow and it was quite impressive colour payoff. So I'm just going to swatch a couple. I'll swatch some oranges because I don't use oranges. So, so actually, really impressive colour payoff. It's just bad lighting, honestly. Um, I'll do something darker. I'll do I'll do a blue. So they're quite shimmery, they've got a really faint glitter um, on my fingers and I will grab a green. They feel, they feel really, really nice, um, nice and silky. There's a matte green um, and on my fingers. So I'm really, really impressed um, so far. I'm going to play around with them um, after I've had a shower and I'll do a tutorial for it. Okay, well, we'll take one more. We'll take a purpley pinky colour. Um, we'll do this really crazy vibrant. Oh, my hand. Really crazy vibrant pink. So, a lot of the colours are, are matte. There's some shimmery ones. And there's the pink. Like pinky red. That looks like it could probably stain your hand or your eye. So, um, I will rec I'll recommend using a base. I mean, I would anyway. But use a good base. Um, it's 
some like Urban Decay Primer Potion that'll go all over your eyelid and not be too heavy. Um, because even though they've got, um, I mean, they've, they've obviously got to be eye safe, but if you use a base, I think you'll be protecting your eye a little bit at least, and your eyelid. So I think that pinky colour there could stain a bit like um, Max Basic Red pigment. So, but no, I'm really impressed with them so far. I can't wait to do um, a tutorial. I'll come back later on today and show you something, okay? 